Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ernesto 2264 and I'm back at it again with another video for you guys. And today marks Star Star Wars' 44th anniversary, May 25th, 2021. I love Star Wars, and this is my dad's original Luke Skywalker Kenner action figure. This is genuinely his figure that he had since childhood that I have obtained and it is well, it's not in perfect condition but I think it's in relatively good condition and for all the um, OCD individuals who are yelling at the screen the lightsaber is supposed to be yellow and to that I say yes but the character himself has a blue lightsaber and the Kenner toy had a yellow one, which was technically a mistake. He should have been packed with a blue lightsaber. So I have taken the liberty of making my own blue lightsaber kind of contraption by basically taking one of my previous lightsabers from my Hasbro toys and cutting the handle off and then sticking the blade in there. Don't worry, the lightsaber toy accessory itself was already kind of broken. So. And uh, I think it went to a good cause. So, as we can see, the chest itself is yellowed. Uh, I do not know exactly how that happens. It has something to do with oil in the fingers and sunlight, I believe. And as we can see, there's some paint missing on his feet. Uh, not really the face. There's plenty of paint on the face. So, but as we can see, one of the eyebrows is kind of missing. Some of the hair is kind of scruffled up, and man, these, there are some huge mold lines on this thing. And this hand has some weird paint to it. And, uh, yeah, the original lightsaber accessory was missing, obviously. They have some paint scuffs on the back, but overall, I think this figure has definitely stood the test of time. And, uh, it's an honor to still have this figure. Uh, it's something I'll always hold on to as something to not only remember my father, but our bond for Star Wars. It's something that I can never be, never be able to thank my father for. It's been such an influence to my life and his life and sci-fi and I just, I'm honored to have the figure. So before I end this video, I want to t tell you guys the story of how my dad got into Star Wars. So my dad was, my father was seven years old, he came home from school, and I believe he was doing homework or watching TV, and my grandfather came in after watching Star Wars himself, and I was like, Mike, we, get, we gotta go watch, we gotta go watch this sci-fi film, let's go, right now, let's go, and my dad was like, alright, and the two went to see Star Wars on opening day, believe it or not. Because at the time, it was, nobody really knew about it. And my dad watched it, and he was blown away, away by the effects and the starfighter battle and the lightsaber fight and all the characters. And after that, one of his friends was trying to watch Star Wars, and there was a huge line. He was like, man, how'd you watch it so early? And my dad was like, we went on, we went day one. And, uh, it's, yeah, that, that, and that is the true tale of how my dad watched Star Wars. And he had a bunch of the figurine, uh, little action figures. And throughout the years, he lost them, and, uh, he got, he had, one of his Christmas presents was the Kenner Millennium Falcon that he unfortunately didn't hold on to. It was either given away or lost in the backyard, but, uh, <laughs> funny story behind that. Um, one of his friends, Ricky Jones, um, was so jealous of my dad getting the Millennium Falcon that he actually stole the um, door to it, and uh, my dad eventually stole it back. And, uh, yeah, so Star Wars has been... I would have loved if my dad held on to that Millennium Falcon. That would have been the ultimate of ultimate toys. And I still think today that's got to be one of the best vehicles for action figures ever made and uh... yeah and somehow through all the years my father held on to that little Luke Skywalker 
and it has now ended up in my collection and will be a permanent piece to my collection. And uh, over the years, I have been able to collect a couple Kenner Star Wars vehicles here and there. I got a um, Power of the Force, aka the 90s Kenner X Wing, and uh, a couple R2 D2s that I'm currently working on repainting some of the dome features. But, anyways, guys, that is my father's Luke Skywalker, and it is an honor to hold on to it. And uh, as a piece of love and my me and my father's bond over a franchise and something we both love to talk about. Anyways guys, this is Rana Star 2264 signing out with my amigos. Peace and have an amazing day. And may the force be with you always. And never go up, never surrender. Sometimes retreat, but come back more prepared for the next battle. Alright. Peace!